I've been using Apple's new watch for a month now, and while there is a steep learning curve in getting to use it, I have come to find it an invaluable digital companion. But tuning the watch and setting it up to your personal preferences does take some time. So I'm going to walk you through a few tips and tricks for getting the most from your Apple Watch. Receiving a notification on your wrist is one of the Apple Watch's most powerful applications. But it can be a little overwhelming at first, especially if you get a message at the wrong moment. My advice for handling notifications is to go into the iPhone app for the Apple Watch and turn all of them off to start with until you see a pop-up on your phone that you really wish you'd had on your watch. That way you don't spend all of your time glancing at your wrist that you would have otherwise been doing more productively and quickly on your phone. If you do find yourself in that situation, you can dismiss all of the notifications that you received in one go by holding down the force press button on the notifications tray from the top of the row and tapping clear all. The many customizable faces of the Apple Watch are actually one of its most attractive qualities, but unlike this jellyfish version, which is just purely decorative, you can make them useful. This version, for example, you can customize the different uh, complications, um, which are the little pieces in the top and bottom corners to show anything from the amount of exercise that you're doing to the weather and even the phases of the moon. And when you've chosen those, they then become an instantly touchable um, shortcut to get to uh, greater information about that particular app. Another useful shortcut for the selfie fans amongst you is using the watch as a shortcut for your iPhone's camera. You just open the relevant app and a little window appears showing you what you're taking and then you must press the button to take a picture. There are already thousands of apps available for the Apple Watch, but only a few of them are really worth your time. My recommendation would be to select a few that fit onto this original screen here, and then you can tap them much more easily when you need them. The Apple Watch does not have the instant appeal of an iPod that put a thousand songs in your pocket, and it's not as immediately intuitive like the iPhone with its swipe to unlock or pinch to zoom. But once you've lived with it for a while and got used to its little foibles, it will soon become an indispensable companion. This is Tim Bradshaw with the Financial Times in San Francisco.